Alrighty. Here we go. Start of the stream. We just got... We're going to be doing a little bit of speed alunky on this fine day. We're also going to... I just got off of a warm-up run. We're going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to take a picture of said main menu for my singular social media. So I can post it on my social media so people know that I'm streaming on my social media. I'm not streaming on my social media, but I'm streaming. And I'm taking a picture for my social media. Alright, picture has been taken. Now we are simply writing the text with me saying, hey, I'm streaming in the name of this channel, Cam Toaster. There we go. Post has been made. So now all of my two fucking social media followers will see that and uh, hopefully watch the stream. But until that point, let's let's, uh, let's get into it. Actually, let's let's do the daily. I never fucking do the daily. Actually, let's do the daily later. Let's 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 go back to my main pilot. Pilot used to be my main, but then I got sick of looking at him because it was all I played, so now I mix it up every session. Alright. So if you're new here, all of my one viewer, howdy doody, sir and or madam. Oh my god, that's a bad hallway. So, okay, well, that's fun. The type I uh, the type of run I do or I am trying to get to the Sunken City, World 7. Uh, in order to do that, uh, I need to get a few items. These items include, but are not limited to, the jetpack and ropes, Vlad's cape and climbing gloves. And then I need to do one of the several variants of the 6-4 skip. And as you just saw, uh, we are farming or we are just gonna hard reset, un or we're just gonna reset. It's not a hard reset. We're, we're just gonna reset the run if we don't get the items that can be gotten from the shop at the shop. I don't fuck that up. Oh, hello. So the items that we're looking for that would be a cape and climbing gloves, a bunch of bombs and stickies, movement of some other type. We're looking for movement or bombs. That's some fucking movement right there. All right, so now. Okay. So now that we got the shop that we need, what we'll do is do that. Kill a shopkeeper, because fuck him, that's why. And because the runs are more interesting if I'm being sh chased by shopkeepers. And just more fun, honestly. Having to navigate around them is a pain in the ass, but enjoyable. So what I'm doing right now is I'm collecting bodies to put on the Cowie Altar. And if I sacrifice enough things, then I will get the level 1 reward. And that's just a random item from the from a pool of items. If I sacrifice enough things again, I will get the level 2 reward, which is the Kapala or Blood Cup. Now this is a very strong item as... You see how I just killed that guy? You see how, like, red shit came out of him? See how it came out of that turkey? That is blood. Uh, the blood cup, I can collect that blood, and it gives me health. Health is very hard to come by without the Kapala or blood cup. I, I don't know, I, I don't have a consistent name for it. I just kind of call it whatever I feel like it in a moment. And you get more, you get more, f it works on a point system. I don't know the exact points, but I know that you get more points for uh, alive things and dead things. And with my cape, I can glide onto spikes. Otherwise, if I drop down onto spikes, it is a one-hit kill, no matter what health I have. But there's my Kapala, 
this is an incredibly good start. The only way this could be better is if I had a bunch of bombs. But that's fine because the fact that we don't is honestly fine because we've got really good movement outside of the, the only thing, the only way that our movement could be better right now is if we had the jetpack, which is uh, pretty rare to get in shops. I just want to run this guy up so I can sack him. Actually, I want to sack this guy alive so I won't whip him again. Because if I do, whipping takes one health and he has four health, so I whipped him again. He would die. And that is a royal jelly. That's the level three and beyond reward. The royal jelly is just, I don't know how much health. I just kind of know it's a good amount of health. I don't want to sack that mole. I could, but I feel like that would take too much time. The reason I'm worried about time is that at three minutes, the ghost spawns. And the ghost, it chases you endlessly and splits after certain, interval, certain intervals of time. And if the ghost touches you, you instantly die, regardless of what health you have. It's, it's basically the game's hurry the fuck up mechanic. Uh, yeah, that works. Uh, there is a way to stave off the ghost if you are playing in multiplayer mode. Then the friendly ghosts, the dead players, can blow on the ghost to push it back a little bit. And if you have... Um, if you have the four leaf clover that can drop from a leprechaun or usually spawns always spawns in a lot of the npc areas then the three minutes will instead be five minutes also that guy already died that's good you don't have to fuck with him he's usually a pa pain in the ass oh yeah shopkeepers with shotguns will spawn at the end of every level until i get forgiveness but i won't get forgiveness because i already killed them <coughs> Hiccups, excuse me. So there are branching paths for World 2. There is the jungle, which is where we're going. And, well, actually, we don't have to go to jungle. Do we want to go to jungle, actually? I don't know. Because we already have Blood Cup, so we could get Vlad's Cape. The reason why I mentioned Blood Cup in that scenario is Vlad's Cape increases the amount of blood that drops from enemies, so it's... Uh, very good for in combination with the blood cup because it you know increases the amount of blood in, uh, So you just get more blood so you can get health quicker That's very good for us that him getting crushed there is Good that means we don't have to work too hard to kill him Actually I actually do want to go to Volcana that's what it's called. It's a uh, volcano and oh Poison scorpion. God damn it. That's such a pain in the ass. Oh fuck. Hello, sir. Oh My god, I'm dead. Damn it. No, the the guy tanked my uh, tanked all my shots Okay, well poison isn't too bad because now we're unpoisoned But usually point is poison is a massive pain in the ass and also really hard to get early only ways to get it are from a poison snake or a poison scorpion dropping from a jar. Luckily for us, a poison scorpion dropped from the jar that I broke. And uh, you know what's crazy? Those are the most annoying ones. Uh, okay. Probably shouldn't have put my shotgun there. As uh, that'll make leave me without it for a long time. I don't think that's horsing. So, um... Sorry. So there are. Okay. So this key goes to the cage of Van Horsing. It's a play on Van Helsing. Um, it goes to that, and okay, there it is. Oh, my shotgun's down there. Bomb, go. Oh, and I'm dead. I shouldn't have done that. I fucked up. I didn't have to use a bomb there. Okay, it's okay. We went net positive. Although we would have been more positive if we didn't use that resource. Damn it. This game, like, above being a platformer, is about optimizing your resources. Like, I didn't have to use a bomb to get those bombs, you know? I or, Then again, there could have been ropes in there. But I, I didn't have to use... That's good enough. Uh, I should be dead, 
but because we damn it i tried to back i tried to whip the arrow uh because we only damaged him once we sh could we could go for forgiveness and we are going to go for forgiveness forgiveness is when you get the shopkeepers to forgive you for hurting them and the way that you do that is by not damaging them for a certain amount of levels depending on what sins you have committed against the shopkeeper lord so because we only hit the shopkeeper once we have minus one on our forgiveness so in order to become forgiven we need to go one level without hitting a shopkeeper luckily this is our one level so if we can not injure the shopkeeper in this level that turkey's dead if we can not injure the shopkeeper on this level that is very good for us as we won't have to deal with any of those pesky shopkeepers at the exits damn it that key i kind of need that oh, there's another shopkeeper i also can't rob like steal any of that guy's shit or else uh the shopkeeper lords will get angry with me that kind of sucks because i would like some of the items in there actually um i don't know if there's something good in that where to go Oh, shit. That's scary. Oh, my God. Hello, sir. Okay, and he's dropped down. I'm so dead. Yep. I did not mean to drop down. I tried to grab the ledge. I failed, though. God damn it. Cock. Nope. So, a lot of this stream will be resetting uh I, I i will drastically lower the parameters of uh like the items that i will start a run with just for the sake of actually having runs for good content what's well, for content generally damn it i could have saved both those resources which would be like if i was in a run on my own time where i don't have as much of a problem with resetting I probably wouldn't have taken that because the only movement that we got there was the cape and the other item that we got the pitcher's mitt is only really an offensive tool uh, I have to use two bombs here that sucks I don't know if I've talked about the Ujet eye yet but here, here, here we go uh, what we're about to get is the Ujet Eye. It allows us to A, see gems and walls, and B, allows us access to uh, one of two secret areas, depending on which route we go. So there, as I said earlier, there's Volcana and there is a Jungle. Uh, at Volcana, there is Vlad's Castle. And in Volcana, or sorry, at Jungle, or in Volcana, there's Vlad's Castle. In jungle, there is the black market. Both are good for different reasons, and depending on what type of run I have, I will want to go to different uh, either or location. Also, you can cook turkeys by hitting them with a fire attack, such as, oh, I don't know, a flaming torch. Fire attacks also qualify as, oh, I'm dead. I should be dead. Thank Mary and Joseph, I am not dead. Being able to recover a little bit of our health here. So there's our shopkeep. All right, now the flavor text. All right, I feel forgiven. Great, that means there will no longer be shopkeepers. It also means I could rob the black market. I've never successfully done that. Why did I use that rope there? That was not worth it. I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll try and rob the black market. Otherwise, we'll have to pay for a lot of the items there and they can get pretty expensive wow there's a power pack so this right here this is a power pack it is a backpack item similar to the cape uh it goes on your back and the power pack what it does is it makes your bombs bigger i don't know whether or not it makes your ropes longer but i know it gives you a fiery whip and it makes your bombs larger and right now we are attempting to kill this guy. His name is Quillback. We killed him with projectiles because we didn't have a shotgun or any other weapon to throw slash shoot him with. So we just killed him with throwables. Hmm. This is a this is a pretty good run. 
spider, a cock. Oh no, okay, we're fine. And this guy that I'm about to get, he is a hired help. Uh, he's not really hired in this instance, but he's called a hired help. Basically, it's a NPC that will aid you in your journey, but like actually. And the reason why I got him is, you see this thing right here, the Cali Altar, uh, they are worth a lot of points on the Cali Altar, so. Aw, oh, damn it. That crush, that crush block crushed my, uh, the damsel is what they're called. The, uh, the hamster. Ooh, 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 that's a good ass item for this run. Uh, those are climbing gloves. They allow me to stick to any block as if there was a ledge. It's an incredibly powerful item, especially when you're using the cape or Vlad's cape. We'll probably stick with the yellow cape and not fish or not go for a jetpack in, um, and not go for a jetpack in the black market. The reason being, uh, the climbers, as I call them, climbing gloves, are a bit of the are, are a bit of a pain in the ass when you have uh, a jetpack. So that, that is why. Also, we're going to need a bunch of money so we can buy all the items that we need. So the way that you find the black market, also this is a man trap. If it's in my hands, if it touches me at all, I will instantly die. Also, we got another one of these guys. And there's our Kapala. It's very good for us. For the reasons listed beforehand, I told y'all why the Kapala is good. Uh, we're going here. Alright, we went in here because the black market is located in the back layer, which is where we are right now. And in the back layer, when the black market is present in that level, there is a slight music change. And I just wanted to double check that the thing was not here. So that's why I went back to listen for the slight music change. Uh, technical difficulties also. Alright, we're back. If you are new to the channel, uh, technical difficulties is the bit that I have of... Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, technical difficulties is I don't record and or stream in a private room i am in a fairly communal room of my house and uh, technical difficulties is basically whenever uh, anyone walks into the room that i record in so yeah that's a thing also this is the moon challenge uh in there you can get a bow that grants access to a very difficult area called cosmic ocean yeah we're not doing that so what that means for this run is that the black market cannot spawn on the same level as the moon, moon challenge. So that just means we don't have to look for the black market this level as there is no black market this level. There is however a Cali altar and a one of those guys. They are pains in the asses and you see that floating skull flying around them. That will apply the curse status effect to me. And what that, the curse effect does is... Hmm. Yeah, one more health. Uh, the curse status effect, what that does is... It A, brings me down to one health, which is bad enough. But B, it also uh, makes it so I cannot gain any more health. It's uh, basically a run-ender, unless you are in one of the two circumstances in which that status effect can be healed. So right now I'm simply grinding for a little bit more health off of this. What I'm doing is when you sacrifice something, uh, all of its blood comes out, and so I'm standing over the body when it is sacrificed, therefore gaining all of the blood, and I'm also getting more points in the Kali Altar for the Royal Jellies. That will give us even more health. Hmm. Okay. I feel like it's on this level. Let's go into the back layer and check. Hey. 
I don't think it's here. That doesn't sound right. So I'm going to make the decision that it is not here. And I'm not going to look for it. Well, I'm still going to look around, but I'm not going to like use any resources in order to try and find it. As it should not be here. Which means it has to be somewhere. Or it has to be in one of these levels. So it's got to be in this one. Because it wasn't in any of the previous ones. We know because we checked the back layer for the music change in both of the levels and then the moon challenge. And I know for a damn fact that... Oh wow, that's a real pain in the ass. I'm going to use this man trap to my advantage. Okay. Get away from me. Get, no, back up. Get away. Those floating skulls are very scary as I have lost uh, many runs to those. Okay, I didn't know that that guy could hit me. That's okay. Oh, I heard the tick. Honestly, I don't like the double witch doctors. Actually, what are they called? Uh, Beast Jerry. Witch doctor. Witch doctor. Okay, great. I don't like the double witch doctors, so I'm just going to use a bomb there. Get the fuck away from those. So that little tick that we just heard, that is... That is the sound indicator for the black market. Hmm. I'm fine using a rope here because I have a surplus of them. Okay, right there. Should be about there. And there we go. Oh my god, you absolute bastard. Alright, this will be the black market. Wow, we have a lot of money. That's really good for us. Too bad I can't free that guy. Actually, I think that is a chick. I don't know. I could probably check, but I don't care. So this is the black market. We're looking for a lot of bombs. Uh, and other than that, we don't really need all too much. We could buy the head yet. Let's see, if there's a jetpack, I won't buy the head jet, but if there is, then I will. The head jet is just... Hmm. Alright, there's no jetpack, which means I won't be doing the 6-4 skip the easy way, which means I want to do it the traditional way, which is the way the game intends, as opposed to one of the skip ways. So I want to buy a fuck ton of bombs. I'm doing fine on health. So... I want spring boots. Spring boots are really good with the movement type that we have, which is cape. Uh, I already have specs. Yeah, I want that, and I want that. Are those really all the bombs we have. Ropes are also kind of important for cape movement builds. So we'll buy that. Also throw that. Grab this. That was actually unnecessarily risky, because there's a small chance that a bomb could come out of that. Uh, the broken chests, and if that were to happen, then uh, that would have destroyed the shopkeeper property, and they would have gotten incredibly angry at me. And there's a certain reason why I am bringing this boomerang. Uh, that should do it. There we go. Oh no, my crate. Over here, buddy. Rope. That's fine. Okay. So let's, so these two are the sisters. No, I'm dead. There's no way I'm not dead. Oh, there we go. Fuck. Damn it. Well, that's mighty unfortunate. Uh, as I was saying though, uh, those two are the sisters and you can save them in Volcana, or sorry, Jungle. And they give you rewards, depending on how many of them you save. If you save one of them, you get a pile of ropes, which is three ropes. If you save two of them, like we did, you get the bomb bag, which is three bombs. If you save all of them, all three, then you get a bomb box, which is... It's either 10 or 13 bombs, I forget. A crate early, that's good. Bomb, bi bomb bag, it's very good. Hopefully we get a good shop. 
and then we will really have a run. Not your cock. And, ooh, that's a good, I'm gonna call that good enough. I see a Matatok. I don't, I don't think we'll be going for forgiveness on this run. Alright, so we have a hover pack, which allows us to do this. And we have a shotgun, which allows us to shoot. And we can jump, we can float and shoot, and it greatly reduces our the knockback from the shotgun and allows us to do cool stuff like what we just did. And by what we just did, I mean commit murder. So it allows us to do cool stuff like murder. Um, for hover pack movement types, hover pack, the hover pack is very good at horizontal movement. Not the best at vertical movement, I was about to say. An item that greatly helps with uh, vertical movement. I should be dead here. As I was saying, an item that greatly helps with vertical movement are the climbing gloves. And I was about to be very happy because there were climbing gloves in that shop there. Unfortunately, we fucking... Unfortunately, I mean, uh, we fucking died. So, yeah. Thought a lot of good those climbers did us. But that's okay, because here we are, back at it again, about to check this next shop. I see paste, I see bombs, I see ropes, that's fine. Let's go for a forgiveness run. Here, okay, he got shot, good, that should slow him down. If I should, I mean, it, it will slow him down. Also a turkey here. Is this Yang's level? Could be. It is. Because I don't have the shotgun, I'm not going to kill Yang. Uh, there's no, um... Because there's no Kali Altar on this level, I'll, I'll just give Yang back his turkeys, and then maybe I'll buy them off him later. I forgot that trap wasn't triggered, god damn it. If I could kill Yang, I would, because uh, I could bomb all three turkeys with one bomb. Get some good health out of that, because eh, look at that measly reward. The best thing you can get from there, the best thing I've ever gotten, is two crates. Uh... Since we have so many bombs, I'm actually going to use a bomb here to get the damsel. We're, we have an abundance in all of our resources. That's very good. Uh, so now we just need to make sure to not damage the shopkeeper in this level. Uh, and we should be off to a good start to our run. A lot of arrow traps there. I do want to grab this damsel A because it'll act as a meat shield from one shotgun blast and B because I do want the health assuming we survive. also want that gem because who knows it might be going black market. Alright, so there's buddy. Also there's the key to the onk. onk. There is the key to the ujet eye. Kind of an unfortunate placement for that key, because I don't know if I'll be able to get at the key without triggering... Alright, great, I was able to get at the key without triggering the shopkeeper. Also, that was a completely waste of a bomb. I placed it and then realized, oh wait, I don't need to do this. So, that sucks. Wasted resources never feels good. In fact, I'd go, far, I'd go as far as to say it feels... I should be dead. Um, damn. <sighs> Oof, that's so scary. That is incredibly scary. I can't get close enough to him without being in his direct line of sight because of how the level layout works. Oh, I didn't know he could jump that high. That's fine. Luckily, he jumped over us, and there is our forgiveness. That's very good for us. We won't have any more of those pesky shopkeepers. Although, believe you me, if there was a shop with anything good in 1-3, uh, I would kill those motherfuckers in a heartbeat. I think criminalis runs is the term. I think criminalis runs are always fun. Let's go to... Oh, okay. Glad I'm not dead. So, there's the bomb on Quillback. He dies from one bomb, even if he's on full health. Um, and he drops one heart, or one turkey, which gives one heart, and a bomb bag. So if you can kill him with one bomb, or heck, even two bombs, or, hey, maybe you're really bad at the game. Maybe you need three bombs to take him down. You are still net even. 
out in the bomb department and net positive if you take three bombs to kill him because you get uh that is a ghost jar when you break it you get a diamond what, what uh gem is worth the most here's yang with his fucking turkeys but the ghost also spawns immediately and that's the thing that instantly kills us there is one ghost jar on every level and uh yeah There's a hired hand. I talked about him earlier. Hopefully there's a Kali altar either this level or next level. Dark level is a little bit unfortunate because it's real hard to find horsing in a dark level. Wow, that caveman turkey really just fucking KYS'd. Okay, so there's horsing. Horsing. Oh, okay. Uh, what that was is that was a parachute. Uh, one A one-time use item that stops your fall if you're going to fall and take fall damage like I was. Frankly, it's considered by most to be pretty useless, although it did just save us one heart of damage, so, you know, I guess there could be worst items. Actually, that's not true. I think many people consider, wow, those are kind of asshole placements for both of these landmarks to be. Um, but I, I, I do think it is considered by a lot to be the worst item in the game. Honestly, I... I can't say I blame them. Alright, there's our diamond that we get for saving Horzing. And basically what Horzing does is he, in uh, whatever world the lad's castle is in, you'll know when you see it, trust me, uh, whatever world Vlad's uh, castle is, Jesus, I'm really stuttering here, whatever world Vlad's castle is in. He will spawn in Vlad's castle. Okay, here we go. He will spawn in the castle and shoot a special blue arrow arrow that will one-shot uh, Vlad, giving us Vlad's cape for minimal effort. The only problem is there are quite a few vampires in Vlad's castle. We have to wait for the lava to drain. That's good because there's a crate over here. It's also good because there's a conveniently located rock dog and caveman right next to Cali Altar. As I said, very conveniently located. Now I want to try and find the damsel this level. There he is, or there it is, I should say. Because I have paste, I want to see if that works. Okay, I didn't. That's fine. I didn't want to explode up for fear of the lava A dropping down and killing me and B dropping down and killing the damsel. Lava is a one hit kill, it is very scary. Also we just got what is quite possibly the most useless item we could have gotten, the yellow cape. Why it's useless is we're about to get a cape that is objectively better than the yellow cape. The only reason you would think the yellow cape is better than Vlad's cape is that you like yellow as opposed to red. So it is literally just a direct downgrade to the cape we're about to get. So that kind of sucks that that's the item that we got from our level 1 Kali. Also, there are always four hired hands here. Usually I'll use them as a meat shield for... Uh, wait, I'm trying to grab him. That arrow trap, and then that arrow trap naturally gets set off by that moving platform there's the blue arrow there's our crown just doing a quick check for boxes in the corners wow look a box in a corner crazy how that works with some ropes in it that's good the uh capes are not as good as vertical are not as good at vertical mobility as the jetpack is although the red cape vlad's cape is a lot better at vertical mobility than the yellow cape as you know, double jump. I accidentally took that off. Hopefully none of them kill themselves, and hopefully we can get a Cali altar next, or hopefully we can get a Cali altar next level. Because then we could sacrifice all these guys and for sure get the Kapala, although I think they're all about to die. Well, if not all of them, then the majority of them. Uh, 
All right, I'll grab this turkey. We can get a triple jump because that's just how it works with a turkey. Uh, if you have a mount, say the turkey, the rock dog, or the axolotl, so the three, if you have a mount and everybody's dead, if you have a mount and a bag or a backpack, uh, they stack. So let's say you have the hover pack and a rock dog. Then you can fly, like hover. That's so wrong. That bomb placement. Um, because of your the two items. You can hover and you get a double jump. Just because of... Ah, oh, damn it, my rope. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that there. Actually, we need all mech to go over here. Luckily, there are no pesky sisters to kill us this time. We're also going to cook the turkey just because we can. And because I have no intention of taking him any further. So we're about to do the uh, all mech skip. That's what most people call it. I'm very glad I didn't just die because I almost fucked that up horribly. That should do it. There we go. Perfect. Well, actually not. Perfect would require one more bomb. But I'd rather dance with all mech a little bit than use that one more bomb. So all mech is going to come up here, do that, and then we just got to come right here, let him stomp once, let him stomp twice, and boom, magic, alakazam, we can get into this little doorway right higgity here. Now this doorway is very special as it will take us to the back lair, you know it's in the back lair, but da 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 fuck off bat, the onk, this is the first time you have seen the onk if you exclusively watch my stream, so... The first time we've gotten the Ankh in the stream, because usually it's hard to get a run that goes as far, because, you know, I'm bad. Um, but yeah, the Ankh is an incredibly powerful item. What it does is, if you have the Ankh and you die, uh, then you r come back at the level's entrance with 4 health and all of your items, assuming your backpack wasn't exploded or crushed. So, like, let's say you have... Uh, you, let's say you get crushed by one of those crushed blocks and you have Vlad's cape as your backpack. Vlad's cape is gone because it was crushed, but you're not because you have the Ankh. Also, this is Tide Pool. It's a very cool area. Wow, speaking of jetpack, holy shit. <sighs> that's so fuck. That's such a rare thing to get from uh, a crate. Jetpacks are incredibly hard to come by, con considering that they are one of the two optimal movement options. So here we are, this is Tide Pool. Uh, and actually, now that we have uh, this, we can make an attempt at the 6-4 skip. Also, I got blinded. Kinda sucks that we don't have the Kapala, as it makes health, or we just kinda, I take a lot of damage, cause I'm bad. The fact that I don't have the Apo Kapala makes attrition a real factor. Luckily, because we have spike boots, we don't have to worry about the jumping squids too much. I'm actually going to throw a bomb right there, because I want to try and get at that damsel. Fuck you. Uh, hopefully there is a Kali altar next level, so we can... Oh, there's our Kali altar. Perfect. Also, free crate. Fuck yeah. Kind of sucks that we have to use a... I don't want to touch that bubble, as it will give me poison. Uh... There's our blood cup. There's also some free ropes for us. Wow, we like that nasty double kill. I want to uh, juice that guy just one more time. Uh, oh, that is a motherfucking explosive crate. Okay, bitch. You want to play like that? Get your brother. I'll throw his dead mangled corpse at your explosive crate. And you shall perish. Oh no, I'm dead. I thought that was going to happen. I really did. Uh, flaming bodies count as fire damage and fire damage to the jetpack. Explodes the jetpack. That sucks because now we don't have a backpack. And that is uh, very hard to, to... It is very hard to traverse these later levels without a backpack. Damn it, we don't even have a yellow cape. That's a snap trap. It will instantly kill you if you let it. So don't. 
All right. Oh, that also means. Uh, oh shit! I think we just fucked our run actually, because uh, we can't go the traditional way because we no longer have the onk. The traditional way involves you uh, killing yourself on a certain spot with the onk and then not actually dying because you know onk. I might die here. This is uh, the Master Sword. It's very powerful. Does a lot of damage. Honestly, okay, jackass. Cunt. Uh, so yeah, so the Master Sword. It's not actually called that. I just called that because it's funny. Hopefully we can get a backpack here. No promises, though. There's a thing. If you whip a dice, it lands on either a 1 or a 6. And in order to get the item back there, you need a 7. So I'm sure you can do basic math and discover why getting either, either a 1 or a 6 consistently is good. Sometimes I get scared and fuck up my whips. Because I have not a lot of health and these dice can do damage to you. And we're getting a lot of trash items right now. Either duplicate items or holdable items who we will not be taking because we have the master sword just grab the stinking dice dude the machete wow it's like literally the master sword but worse the camera okay that's also bad this is honestly very strange usually okay fuck me i need to take it slow usually this um NPC, this building spawns on 4-1, uh, the first world in this, the first level in this world, excuse me. Give me a 6, there we go, okay, perfect, place of pleasure. That's good if we survive to that point, which and no freaking guarantees. I'm gonna milk, I'm gonna milk, fuck, I'm going to juice this cat, which involves doing that. Because I didn't press the jump button. I could have sworn I pressed the jump button. Damn it. Well, back to 1-1, because there are no fucking checkpoints in this game. Crazy how that works. That was a really good run, but I, I don't know. I I, 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 I would I would take the jetpack again. I, I would do it again. Because taking the jetpack allows me to keep the onk and still do the 6-4 skip. Because there are a variety of 6-4 skips, I don't know how to do the one that's not the jetpack one. There is one with Vlad's cape, that's good enough. There is one with Vlad's cape, but as stated, I don't know how to do that. So, I would I would have been able to do the jetpack one, but I wouldn't have been able to do the 6-4, the uh, Vlad's cape, because I don't know how to do that. So I, I would have taken that jetpack, if, if this were all to happen again, I would have taken it again just kind of unfortunate that we got a flaming body flung into us in what is quite literally the only way that that could happen also did we miss the did we miss the ujedi i think we might have bomb box though we ain't missing that i think we did miss the ujedi if we if we did miss the ujedi then i think we should probably go Can't say I meant to do that. Okay. If Buddy took damage from that turkey, and that's very bad because that means we won't have forgiveness. Okay, we don't have forgiveness. That's really bad. That means we not need to not hurt the shopkeeper here because if we do, then we'll probably never get forgiveness. And uh, you kind of need forgiveness. Yeah, you see that? That's a trick that I picked up. And by picked up, I mean fucking died to. Uh, if you throw one of those lizards at this guy, yeah, we, we did miss. I did not see that there. Actually, I did, but I had spring boost, which made my uh, short hop two instead of sh two blocks instead of one block, because spring boots increase your jump height from a two to three. So my short hop was one tile larger, and because of that, I jumped right into those. Who fucking cares what I jumped into? We got a jetpack. We also got a compass, which is very good. It 
simply puts that red arrow in the direction of the end. The reason why it's good is that on Vlad's Castle and the Black Market, it has two arrows as opposed to only one. So it's very good because it lets us see where or what levels the those two notable landmarks are in. Wow. God damn it, and my idol. I really need to find the damsel this level, because if I don't, then I'm kind of like in a very bad spot in terms of health. Why did I back whip that? I really didn't need to. I kind of want to go back and try and get that shotgun or that. Okay. Okay, nope, never mind. I was going to try and do a pro gamer bomb throw, but I've decided not to, as it is incredibly risky. So we will go to 1-3 with our 1 health. Hopefully we don't fucking die. Cali Altar. That is pretty good, but also... That was, a, that was a skeleton that was alive, or dead, depending on how you look at it. Either way, the little fucker deals contact damage, and oh boy did I. Damn, that sucks. That, that's really unfortunate, because you don't get jetpacks every day. <sighs> well, there we go. Hmm. Cali Altar, that's good. It's good if the contents of our shop is good. Ah, oh, you cock. You will not escape from me, you mole son of a bitch. The moles are so annoying. I still have the shop down there, but I didn't see what the contents are. Bomb bag. Okay. That's... Yeah, that's good enough. Actually, I could probably kill the shopkeeper and get the Kapala blood cup. Same difference. I could probably kill the shopkeeper and get the Kapala. This level also nice. Bitch. Alright, we're going to do that there. We're going to kill that mole because fuck him, that's why. And now we need to get up to the... I'm pissed. Not only the actions that I've committed in this moment not only have cost me a blood cup, but it's cost me my happiness. And I have one health now. God damn it, that fucked me so hard. I uh, dropped the damsel, the cat, off in the exit as opposed to holding on to him to take him to uh, the sacrifice pit. It's not a pit, it's an altar. That's honestly really unfortunate, because without the damsel, there's no way we're going to get the Kapala, and we're going to be on two health going into a uh, uh, Criminalis-style run, which is Shopkeeper Aggression. Technically, a Criminalis is it's a Constellation, which is basically a reward and a run summary that you can get if you get to the end of 799. Which is the ultimate challenge in this game. You know what? Okay, fuck, hold the, hold the fuck on. Alright, you know what? We're gonna say fuck the Kapala, and just so you got, just for the sake of content, I'm gonna show you guys what happens if you destroy a Kali altar. Uh, fuck you. Alright, so a whole bunch of monsters come out. Crazy how that works. Kali is very angry with you, so now my, um,. My Cali point total is like negative 20 or something. I, I think it gives you negative 24 for each altar destroyed. The worst part is if an altar is destroyed like in the environment, like let's say, I don't know, some an explosion happens in some circumstance that destroys the altar, even if it's not by your hand, you still lose the points. So that's just kind of unfortunate. But so now we'll get... To see an NPC. Wow, look at that turkey. So now we'll get to see an NPC that you don't see every day. And uh, next time we see an altar, wow. 
Uh, the turkey saved my life, and... Wow, I am almost dead. Many times. That was really risky. I should not have done that. But here we are, being rewarded for my very, very, very risky plays. We're just gonna do that. I think we're going to go to the jung jungle temple because I want to try and rob the black market. Because realistically, this run isn't going anywhere. All we really have is an abundance of bombs and a shotgun. Which, don't get me wrong, you can do shit with that. But I don't know how much shit. That's, that's the real question. Also, we're going to save that damsel. I just want to drop my shotgun off in the pit. It's not really a pit now, is it? Aw, oh, damn it, if I had that shotgun, I could do the shotgun jump. Uh, using the recoil of the shotgun, you can actually... Nice. Using the recoil of the shotgun, you can actually get a uh, extra height to jump. That would be a jump that, like the spring boots, jumps up three tiles as opposed to your normal two. What's really sick is if you have the spring boots and do the shotgun jump, your shotgun jumps up four tiles. So that's a cool thing. Aw, oh, you cock. I'm never ready. I- fuck, that's so bad. That's something that I'm just kind of not good at, is, um, being aware of breaking pots and having enemies inside. Alright, he's dead. Free money. Yeah, the shopkeepers on this level are never too difficult, because there's always, like, kind of that expanse, like, down here in this area. That's always open, so they always, like, run to the right or left. Also, there's Beg. No, buddy. They will teleport away, give us our bomb bag, and we are left to do needlessly risky things. Such as grab that idol. Now, if we were to say technical difficulties... That notification that popped up is I was looking around in the, well, only the people on uh, Twitch saw that notification, but I was looking around in the notifications and shit, and it gave, okay, alright, oh, we're dead. <sighs> How long have I been streaming? Almost an hour? Yeah, we'll call it there. Don't worry about that notification. It does not concern most of the people. End adventure. All in safe progress will be lost. Crazy how that works. Well, that has been tonight's stream. I want to try and start streaming more consistently. I really do. So, uh, that'll be the day. I will see everybody who has watched this video and the stream and the VOD. I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Wait, I gotta click the stop. Or